Hey, honey. Have you finally returned from your mother's funeral yet? I'm sorry to hear about her passing away from that terrible illness. She had been pretty sick for a pretty long time though, huh? That's right. About a half a year ago, her sickness became much worse and she had to be hospitalized because she wasn't able to stay at home any longer with the state she was in. But thank you for thinking about my family and checking up on me during these tough times. Hey, I'd do anything for you and your family. And these sort of situations have never really bothered me, so I don't mind being there for you. Is that so? Thank you. Are you actually feeling any better though after returning to your own home? Staying over there a little longer might have been a better choice for you both, huh? There's all sorts of chores that probably need to be done in your parents' place still, right? My mom was actually living with my brother and his wife before she was admitted to the hospital, so I think he will take care of cleaning everything up for me. After returning from the hospital, he said he could take care of the cleanup, so he didn't mind me returning to my house anyways. If I had stayed longer, I would have most likely been more of a nuisance than anything to him and his wife. Really? He must be such a sweet older brother. But of course, all of the family's responsibilities land on the shoulders of the oldest brother at some point. I guess that's right. Anyway, you probably got some sort of inheritance from your mom, right? Let's say your mom's amazing ruby ring or something like that. Huh? How do you know about her ring? That wasn't something I thought you knew about. So you did get that ring from her then after all. I heard about it from your husband. He told me that you came back from your parents' house with your mom's beautiful ruby ring. I thought it must be the ruby ring she wore all the time. And it for sure was. But why do you know so much about that ring in the first place? I never spoke about it to you before, did I? You didn't. But your mom was wearing it when we met each other at your wedding. As I recall, I love jewelry. Of course, I would know it as a beautiful ring like that. How would I not? I thought it was such a gorgeous ring. So naturally, I would never forget that it existed. It had to have been rather expensive for her, right? It's a family heirloom passed down from my grandma. I have no idea how much it costs. My brother's wife was originally supposed to receive her ring, but she insisted that I hold on to it instead since she was my mom. So I was very lucky that she let me keep it. I'm nothing but thankful for that. I see. But for someone as young as you are, it wouldn't really match your style if you were to wear it. What if you gave it to me to hold on to and wear? Wait. Are you really asking me to let you have it? Sorry, but there's no way I could ever do that. This is way too important to me and my family. I know that's an important ring, but if you never plan to wear it, what is the point of keeping it? You're far too young for jewelry like that to compliment your fashion sense anyway. So please, why not just give it to me? I will take great care of the ring while wearing it to its fullest potential. No way. This was meant for me to hold on to. This ring came all the way from when my grandma was a little girl, so I have no intention of giving it to someone outside our family. Am I not like a mom to you even though I'm your mother-in-law? I think it's perfectly fine letting your mother-in-law hold on to such a priceless ring for you. Absolutely not. Handing it over to you or anyone else really is just not going to happen. Come on, are you being serious? You really are a cruel daughter-in-law then, huh? This kind of cold behavior is making me think twice about having been nice to you all this time. I'm only being cold because you are a little too interested in having my mom's ring. Also, you've already been trying for a while to take my makeup and clothing. And now, you want to keep my mom's ring? Is that such a horrible thing? Giving it to me? You can always just buy something that suits your style more than that thing. But I don't want to exchange this ring for anything at all, so stop asking me to give it up. I just don't think it will look good on you. But whatever. If you were to give it to someone who can wear it with much more style, 
I'm sure even your mom up in heaven will be happy. Even if she were to be happier about you wearing her ring, I'd still decline your offer. I want to be the one to hold on to her ring, as I'm the one who is her daughter. You are one stubborn girl, aren't you? How can you turn me down? This is ridiculous. You're just being stingy. I wish I had a sweeter daughter-in-law. You don't want a nicer daughter-in-law, though. You want someone who's willing to give up something dear to them so that their greedy mother-in-law can be happy, right? Well, that was pretty blunt of you. Do you not understand that I want to be respectful of you and your mother? Well, there is no use in talking with someone as selfish and dramatic as you. I'll let my son know all about this. Hey, what the hell is wrong with you? I can't believe you would talk to my mom like that. Even if she isn't your biological mother, she is still your mom, right? You should treat her better than that. When was I ever being rude to your mom? What did your mom say to you? She told me that you were being extremely rude when you said you wouldn't let her have your mom's ring. It's just a ring, right? Not letting your mother-in-law keep it is such a petty thing to do. What the heck? It's not just any old ring, you know. I already told you when I first returned home, it's an heirloom that I got from my mom who got it from my grandma when she passed away. For generations, my family has carefully held on to it, so I'm not just going to give it to her just because she asked. Why am I the one being blamed for being rude and petty when it was your mom asking such a ridiculous question? That thing is just a ring though. You can at least let her have fun wearing it around for a little while. She was really upset by the way you spoke to her. Can you seriously not see just how important this ring is to me? My mom only just passed away. And this heirloom is a small piece of my mom that I can keep with me to cherish. There's no reason I should give something that is so valuable to me anyway. But your mother-in-law is still alive. So you should be treating her better, don't you think? My mom is the only mom you have right now, right? That is such a harsh thing to say about my situation. Your mom is acting as though me rejecting her request to give her my mom's ring, which is very special to me, is some sort of verbal abuse towards her. I can't regard her as someone important to me if she's going to act like such a lunatic. What the hell did you just call her? That's your mother-in-law and my mom. You can't ever speak about her like that. Why don't you just forget about your own mom already? Forget about her? Why would I ever do that? So you're thinking that I should just forget her because she's no longer around? You say you won't forget about her, yet when she was sick and unable to do very much, you did nothing to even help her. And now that she's gone, you want to act as though you cared so much more about her? After marrying you, I moved out of my parents' house so there was no way I could be around her all the time. And when I asked if I could leave our house for a bit to care for her, you and your mom both started to complain. So, even though I wanted to go stay with her, you guys wouldn't let me. You're always saying that sort of crap. You said you honestly thought that she would be a bother to you. So you were content with leaving her at your brother's place to be taken care of. Don't just sit there blaming my mom and me for your ignorant actions. What the hell? Did you forget what I just said to you a second ago? When I said that I wanted to care for her while she was sick, you said that you were against me leaving. You said that even if I stayed over at her house with her, there was nothing I could do for her, so you just asked for me to stay at our place. That's because you only ever thought about being with your mom. And you were even reluctant to have my mom over to our house when I asked. I was reluctant because any time she came over to our place, she would always end up taking random things from us. There were times when she was secretly taking large amounts of my makeup and clothes. But who was it that wanted a thief in our house again? Whatever. Just please respect my mom, even if you have to fake it. If you do that, her attitude towards you might just soften up a little bit. You want me to do that considering you weren't ever respectful towards my parents and their needs? Why should I be so nice to your mom anyway? Stop saying such stupid nonsense. What? You are really full of it, huh? Now you're just starting to piss me off. Well, it looks like from now on, I'm not giving you any more money from my paychecks. Huh? 
What do you mean? What about our living expenses? Do you not get what I said? You should be able to pay for everything with your salary. I won't bother putting a single penny into our joint account from now on. Stop messing around. What the hell do I have to be the one to pay for both our living expenses? If you're gonna say that, you won't give me any money. At least pay for your half of the expenses. No, thanks. I think having to experience a little bit of your own medicine will be good for you. Because you are being a selfish brat right now. I'm not a brat, and I have to be selfish in order to defend myself from all of your idiotic and meaningless comments. Please, shut up! I'm not the one who's constantly back-talking here. That's because you won't listen to anything I'm saying. When are you going to stop being so arrogant? Your position as a wife is the lowest position in a family. Especially this one. So how about you start to become more aware of that, you cow? Ugh, is that right? I totally get what you're saying now. You finally understand? Well, I guess this is what happens when I raise my voice at you, huh? Finally, for a change, you fully understand that I'm right. Hey, honey, did you freak out at my son? He finally let you know that you were really being an awful person after all. That's right. I had to listen to all that garbage he spewed. I couldn't believe he would say those things. That's great. You already understand though, right? You were in the wrong for all that audacious stuff you said to me, right? If you had just been a bit more honest and upfront from the beginning, then everything would have been fine between us. I know, and I'm sorry. I was in the wrong, and I do regret it. Oh, you're being awfully upfront now, huh? It looks like what he said to you really made you think twice. But even after all of this, I'm still not handing the ring over to you. I'm sorry, Naomi. Excuse me? So you're still not giving up that ring after all that? Yep. I was thinking about what I should do, but my mom's ring is still a priceless thing to me. Please try to understand. I can't believe you're being so stubborn. You're the one that needs to understand. It's just a freaking ring. Now, I am definitely not going to forgive you for your attitude. If I tell my son that you are still playing with me, he is going to punish you. There should never be a time where I have to sit here and be harassed by my own daughter-in-law. I'm not picking on you. It's just, my mom's ring is the one thing I have to remember her with. It's so important to me that I will lock it in a drawer and throw the key away. You're saying that you're going to hide it away? You'd really go as far as to go through the trouble of keeping it out of everyone's sight? If a burglar or someone like that came into my house, I wouldn't want it stolen, right? You are being overly dramatic about that dang ring. In this small and quiet town, you really think someone would have the audacity to break into your house and steal a ruby ring? It's just a concern I have had ever since I started holding on to it. Anyways, I hid the key inside the wallpaper on the opposite side from our bed. After pulling back the wallpaper just a little, there was a perfect crevice that I could fit the key in for safekeeping, you know? I think I found the perfect spot. Hmm, I suppose so. Cassie, by the way, are you going to be at work tomorrow? No, I have the day off. Is there something you need from me? Not really. I was just wondering, that's all. Are you planning on being at home all day then? During the day, I plan to do some chores around the house, so yes. I've been pretty busy at work lately, so I've been putting a lot of the cleaning off at our place. There's also a lot of bulky garbage that needs to be taken care of. Well, while you're at it, you should take some time to weed your garden as well. For a while now, I have noticed that there are a ton of weeds growing in it. 
Having all those weeds start to overgrow in your garden is going to make it look pretty trashy, don't you think? Ah, uh, sorry about that. I didn't really notice. I'll take care of it tomorrow and I'll make sure that it looks cleaner from now on. It's probably best to do it later in the evening when it starts to cool off outside. However, make sure to finish up all of that before my son gets home for dinner. Got it. Recently, it started to feel like summer with the sunlight being so intense during the day. Maybe start around 4 p.m. or so? It should still be quite bright outside around that time. And then after that, you should be able to finish preparing dinner by the time my son gets home from work, right? That's exactly right. Great advice as usual. That's because I have obviously been a housewife for a much longer time than you have. You have to be thorough and precise with this sort of stuff to keep your husband pleased, you know? All right. Thank you for letting me know. Honey, are you at the house? Please come to the hospital right now. You're at work though, right? What's going on? Why are you at the hospital? Are you hurt? My mom had a bad fall and I got a call from the hospital. They're saying it's very serious. I just got here a little while ago. You need to come as well. What? She fell? I haven't heard all the details about it, but it looks like she got pretty banged up in the fall. She probably had a stroke or something close to that. She'll probably need to stay hospitalized for a while, so bring some of our things so that we can stay with her. Ah, I see what happened. I doubt she had a stroke, but I guess she had a pretty bad fall. If she needs to stay at the hospital for a bit, she must have broken some bones. Huh? Broken some bones? It's been a long time since I've left this hard. This is way funnier than I first expected. What? Why are you laughing at a time like this? There is no reason why any of this should be cause for you to laugh. There's nothing else to do but laugh at her having to go to the hospital since she trespassed on her property after all. She probably got injured trying to run away from the scene of the crime. She had more determination to get out of there than I had first thought. What the hell are you talking about right now? I have no idea where you're going with this. I'm saying that your mom snuck into her house to try and steal my mom's ring. Actually, you should have known your mom would do something as crazy as this, right? When did she sneak into our house? It was your day off from work today, so you should have been at home, right? Your mom had told me to weed the garden this evening because it looks so bad, so in this kind of small town, I should be fine leaving the front door unlocked while I'm out in the garden, right? I guess since she knew that I'd be in the garden, she decided it was the perfect time to sneak in. Well, even though I knew it would be easy for someone to get into her house, I just thought I might as well work in the garden with my back turned to the house. Were you seriously trying to tempt her to break in? I was near the front door of her house and never saw her, so she must have gone in through the back. But hey, I was monitoring what was always happening with my smartphone. What do you mean by monitoring? How did you do that? In this day and age, it's pretty simple actually. I just connected my phone with some cameras I had put in our room and that way I was able to watch the live feed through my phone. But what on earth were you setting all of that stuff up for? Isn't it obvious? I did it to see the exact moment when your mom would be in our room taking my mom's ruby ring. She's way too predictable. I can't believe she came into her house all nonchalantly, not knowing that I had planned on this and set up traps from the beginning. So, are you saying you watched all of this unfold? And you were able to catch my mom in your little trap? I was able to record everything she had done the moment she broke in. If I had evidence of her breaking into her home, I could use that as leverage to make her stop trying to get the ring, right? I'd even be able to show it to other people, or a judge if needed to. But I honestly didn't think she would end up going to the hospital after running away. Anyways, she left behind physical proof to help me confirm my suspicions. Hold on. If you'd seen all of this happen, why didn't you immediately call an ambulance when you saw her get hurt? Because I didn't see the exact moment when she got injured. What? How could you miss that? I was only watching the parts where she was frantically searching through her room for my mom's ring. 
And then right as she was taking the ring out of the drawer that I had hid it in, I started speaking to her through the camera's microphone. From there, she must have thought that I was coming back inside the house and panicked and took off. And then what happened? All flustered, she sprinted out of our bedroom, of course. Now that I think about it though, the moment she went out of the view of the camera, I heard some other interesting sounds. What other sounds did you hear? Sounded like she ran into something big, but it didn't really sound as though she had tumbled or fallen down the stairs. I still can't believe that even after such a bad fall and breaking some bone, she still managed to run away. I can only imagine the look of your mom bearing that sharp pain as she limbs away from our house. So in other words, you are the one to blame for my mom's injuries then. Screw you. No, 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 no. I wasn't the one who caused this accident. Your mom thought she could just waltz inside her house and steal my mom's ring. Then, the moment she knew she was exposed, she freaked out and tried to run away from the scene. And that's when, being her own fault, she fell flat on her face, right? The only thing I did was try talking to her. Seriously, stop screwing around. My mom had to go to the hospital for all of these serious injuries she sustained from all of your antics. When a burglar breaks into someone's house and decides to commit a crime, they're bound to get hurt trying to run away from there. No matter how you try to spin it, this is just a burglar paying for their crimes, right? And who do you think is the one who paid for breaking in and stealing that ring? She is not a burglar, you witch. She is my mom. To me, she was obviously acting like a thief. I mean, she snuck into our house to steal my ring. How is that not a crime? If she wasn't doing anything wrong in the first place, there wouldn't be a need for freaking out and running away. My mom is starting to get old. What will happen if she ends up with lasting effects from her injuries? If that happens, we're going to sue you to pay for her medical bills. Who the heck do you think will be the one having to pay that? If you feel like you want to go ahead and bring the law into this, then I'll go have a chat with my brother about all of this. You do know that my brother is a lawyer, don't you? No matter what you think you can do to avoid paying us, you're the cause of her injuries. I've had to deal with a constant stream of abuse from you guys. Up to now, all of that verbal abuse has ruined my mental health and You'll be the one having to pay for me money for my therapy. Why would I have to pay you? Because you have been the one supporting your mom's actions all along. If you plan to all go on making me look bad, then I won't bother showing any mercy to you or your mom. You're totally crazy. How can you say that you aren't to blame after all you did to my mom? If you would have just given her that ring, none of this would have ever happened. She would have never had to crawl through our house looking for that stupid thing. And I wouldn't have to sit here and listen to your nonsense. Hey, now that I think of it, your mom said something pretty interesting. She was talking to herself when she found my mom's ring. She said that the ring was much better than her brother's jewelry, and so on. My uncle's jewelry? What was she talking about? I think I have an idea of what she meant. During New Year's, when our relatives were all together, something unfortunate happened, right? What happened? Are you talking about when my uncle's jewelry went missing? Yeah, that incident. The jewelry that your uncle had at his house that went missing and caused quite a stir. Remember? It was never found. And we just kind of assumed your uncle had misplaced it somewhere. And what does that have to do with what my mom said? His wife just ended up leaving at some place and forgetting where that was. It's about that piece of jewelry. Your mom said that she was the one who stole it. She was muttering that to herself while she was rummaging through a room looking for the ring. You have to be kidding me, right? Your mom seemed to think that my mom's ruby ring was a lot more impressive than your uncle's jewelry. She confessed to stealing it, and I got it on camera. <laughs> Should I contact your uncle and send him this video of her confession? What do you think? Okay, I get it. Please come down for just a minute. Don't just jump to doing something so idiotic. I'll ask him to go look around over at your mom's house for his last piece of jewelry. I'm sure the stolen goods will come up. Your mom is always leaving the side door to her house unlocked so anyone can enter, right? Stop saying that crap, please! Do you have anything else to say to me? 
Did you know about your mom stealing his jewelry but decided not to bring it up to any of us? Well, I'm going to become a stranger to you guys anyways, so I have no need to worry about what happens next to you. Do you think you can just run away from this situation? I am not letting that happen. But your mom is more important to you than me, right? Please, by all means, go down with your mother. You're planning on just leaving me and letting us hit rock bottom like this? You're heartless. My biological parents are my only parents after all, so I have no interest in joining you or your mom in your family's destruction. I am wiping my hands clean of you and your toxic family. Enjoy your life with your mom. After having that awful conversation with David, I contacted his uncle about what had really happened to his lost jewelry. I told him I knew exactly who the thief was that took it from him. He ran straight to his sister's house and was able to enter through the side door which was, of course, unlocked. It seems that he was able to find that long lost piece of jewelry when he went searching inside the place. My mother-in-law ended up being a compulsive thief and had constantly been stealing things from more people than just David's uncle and I. It turns out she'd even been stealing from her part-time job at some times. There were apparently employees at her work who had begun to notice that money would disappear from their wallets and purses. And of course, once everyone there found out what she was doing, she was immediately fired from her part-time job. When the time came for her to pay reparations to the victims of her crimes, it seems like her son, my husband at the time, had to pay it all off. At the end of all this mayhem, my ex and his mom became completely alienated from the rest of their relatives. Also, Naomi's legs were permanently affected by the injury she had sustained from running from my house and she's always going to have a limp. I guess she won't be running from any crime scenes anymore. And because of her legs being injured, taking care of herself has become far more difficult and so my ex was stuck taking care of her for the foreseeable future. He once said to me that I should have taken better care of my mom when she was sick at the hospital, but now he can't stand the idea of always having to take care of his mom. Their relationship as mother and son must have always been pretty unbearable when I wasn't around. Oh, I forgot to mention, my mom's ring ended up being found and was safely returned to me by the local police. And on a final note, my brother and his wife allowed me to stay over at their place after I divorced David, rent free. Well, in any case, I'm very lucky to be able to protect this precious family heirloom I received from my mom and I couldn't be happier about that.